So that's all. Finally, we will give the uh, whole process for data communication within a network segment. So let's look at this scenario. If one host want to access another host, he only originally, he only has the knowledge of its own IP address and MAC address. And also he only know the MAC address of the destination, but doesn't know the MAC address. And also we assume that initially this switch has no uh, MAC address table in it, it's empty. Let's look at if no PC1 want to send this packet, they should encapsulate the corresponding headers before the payload and they need to include the MAC address of the source and also the MAC address of the destination. But actually, it doesn't know the destination MAC address. Then how should they do? Actually, they should send out an ARP request packet. So here, this is the initialization. Host one has an empty ARP table. The switch has an empty MAC address table. Then the host one want to transmit. He can only send out an ARP request packet to ask for the MAC address of the IP2. So actually here in the ARP request, the source MAC address and source IP address is known. The destination IP address is known, but the destination MAC address is not known. So it should write a broadcasting MAC address here. Also, the uh, in this payload, the destination IP is known, but the destination MAC address is not known. So they will write all zero as the destination MAC address. Then this is the switch. MAC address table. Then after the switch received this package, he learned from first interface, they can reach MAC1. So they will put this entry into the table. And then the host2 received this ARP and replied an uh, ARP reply package. And this time, switch can learn from interface2, they can arrive MAC2, so they can insert another entry into its table. And in this ARP reply packet, actually the host2 can tell host1 that my MAC address is this one. And here, my MAC address is also this one. In that case, the host1 can know the correct MAC address, and then they can put the MAC address in the header to send the correct packet. So that's all for the process. If initially all of these entries, all of these tables are empty. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture. Actually, in this lecture, we have described the basic information about Ethernet protocol. And we learned the Ethernet frame format. We learned what is MAC address. We learned how to work on layer two switch. And specifically for layer two switch, they after receive a frame, they can learn the source MAC address of a frame and search for the destination MAC address and then forward the packet correctly. And also this course described the whole process of data communication within the same network segment based on the working principle of switch. So that's all for today's lecture. Thank you.